What's going on, y'all? Back at you with another video. Trying to get back in the hang of this. Now, this is a side of daily vlogging you don't see. Been sitting here since about 7 o'clock. Worked on it till about 1.30 in the morning. This is actually the video y'all seen yesterday now. But here's the way I think it's going to have to go. I'm going to have to work on it a little bit at night. Then wake up in the morning, finish it off, get it ready, upload it to YouTube. That way you all got it to watch and enjoy. And then repeat the process. Today, I can't tell you what we're going to do because this is our daily lives. And with our daily lives, they ain't much planning. It just kind of happens. Right now, looks like we're going to get some rain. But I'm going to take a break for a minute from this because I'm actually almost done. Where's my peoples at? Everybody's getting clean tails in here. Did you poop? Daddy Bubba wears pull-ups now. It's a clean tail regardless. Oh, no. Have you seen my hair clip? I, last time I seen it, it was going through the house in the hands of a little one. Hi, Minnie. Where you going? Man, y'all just walked by me like I wasn't even sitting there. What's up with that? Well, they're coming to stop me because, you know, I'm in the kitchen. You need me fix it? Y'all, he knows how to operate it. Uh-oh. <laughs> you okay? There's a pillow there. Did you get yours? Here. It matches your shirt. Uh-oh. Slow down. Calm down. There you go. Well, we both forgot. Horsey. Why are you always saying horsey? Because mommy rides her on her back. <laughs> she says horsey because I put them on my back walking around like grandma. In here. Well, Stop. Oh my gosh. Hey. What happened? I'm gonna end up busting. Oh gosh, Sean, you. That was gross. I don't care who you are. If you're married, you fart on each other. If you don't, you ain't enjoying your relationship and you're hiding things. You just gotta let it rip, Tater Chip. <laughs> this makes me super happy. Normally when I go to render a video, three, four hours. This one, once I got it done editing and I hit render, it only took four and a half minutes and now it's ready to upload. This has made my life easier and made me more want to go into doing dailies just because of the fact that the whole video between uploading it from the cards to editing it to putting it out, Right at about two hours, two and a half hours. I can't complain about that. Before it was taking me seven and eight to get all that done. And that's why it was slowing it down. It was just so stressful and it was taking all my free time with my family. And y'all know me, listen, my family is the most important thing to me. So if it was gonna rob me of that much time, I just wasn't about it. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> are you being silly? I'm bored. I'm waiting on it to figure bored? out if it's gonna rain or if it ain't. Does that string taste good? Is it nummy? Mmm. Mm. What are you doing, Cece Manor? So I was getting ready to change my shirt. Okay, well, I'm going to the post office. You wow, it's really windy out here today. But it's actually really nice and warm. This is just a, like a, a t shirt hoodie. It's a little windy, a little nip in the air, not much. Nothing I'm gonna complain about. Let's go pick up the Sasquatch. I need his help taking these into the post office. And I think we're gonna clear the burn barrel out because it is so full of ashes that everything I put in there is just spilling over when it burns. So I need to get that cleared out. Then I'm thinking I'm gonna go buy a leaf blower, a bigger one so we can get all the leaves off the hillside and little mama can use the small one to blow in the middle. No way we can get all these leaves to burn out of here today. Let's go pick up the Sasquatch. Ah, oh, crap. I think one of them heard me. They did. Anyhow, the reason I'm sneaking back here is going to show you guys. This room is Chloe's room as of now. And this room connects to our bedroom. I don't know why we bought the house like this, but we've been debating back and forth for the last six months about putting Colton back here in this bedroom because when Colton wakes up at night, he's really disoriented and frantic and kind of panicky. Chloe, when she wakes up, she 
crawls straight out of the crib over to bed, lays back down, or she'll say, Mama, Mama, you know, Bubba, he's kind of like, ooh, everybody's asleep, I'm awake, what can I get into, kind of thing. So we've just decided for uh, safety and everything else, we're gonna move Colton back here to this room. And Chloe's room is gonna be in his room currently, the, you know, his bedroom where it's at now. She, I think, would be a little more keen to come in and be like, I'm going to mom's room and waking her up or getting in the bed with her. And Bubba's just like, let me pilfer. What can I get into? So I'll be able to hear him if he um, gets up and tries to come out of that door. So long story short, we're swapping bedrooms. But here's the thing. We're still going to use the, this room. I'm going to paint very neutral. I'm gonna do both their bedrooms in a neutral color anyways. I'm not into bright colors. This one more neutral. At Colton's, I know I'm doing the slate gray. This one, I'm not sure. I may even do that for this one too because I think the yellows and the corals go beautiful with the gray as well. So him, I'm more thinking slate gray on the walls, uh, darker gray, whites, maybe deeper greens, something like that. But this is gonna become the playroom slash Chloe's room. Gonna be taking the full size bed out and putting a twin in here so they have a lot more. These bedrooms are small. This full size bed, it takes up a lot of space. The twin, the full, we've got coming out this way. The twin, I'm just gonna do this way. That way they can sit right there and still watch TV. That's gonna be happening this month. Gonna put Colton's room in there. Gonna paint both of them. Prize him with his new room and both of them a playroom and her. This will officially be her bedroom. They're so little right now though. I mean, three and one. Like, playroom's gonna be fine for a couple years. They'll both still have their own beds in separate bedrooms, but this one will just be toy room, playroom, video game, getting them uh, for Christmas. Me and my mom's going in halfers and getting them a play kitchen set. So that'll go in there. It's gonna be a little bit of work, but we got this. We just think we might have to figure out babysitters on those days because of the paint. We're not going in there. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. That door shut to our bedroom all the time is because the kids have not yet learned. They go into the closet and jerk every shirt off of all the racks, all the shoes out. That's gonna be one thing we're gonna have to figure out too. Either change closet doors where we can lock it so Colton is not in there 24 seven digging and messing the clothes up. That's our only other obstacle. Is it birthday month? Are you almost four years old? Couple more weeks, huh? I love you. I love you. Mama can't believe I was. I put them to bed last night and I came in here and went all the way back to his birth videos and everything. I almost started crying. Like, it got to me. I can't believe he's going to be four. I'm going to go ahead and say this, but I think we got a few packages of yours to drop off. The entire back of my truck is filled to the brim. Man, y'all really like that cat shirt because like 75% of these is all that cat shirt. Thank you guys. This means a lot to us. Hey you, you wanna run to the post office with me? Poop dog. Hey, I recruited him more than just the post office. Been wanting to get the ashes cleaned out of this for a while now. thing was packed tight. We're already halfway done though. Anybody need a pair of glasses? Well that's all I'm gonna get out of here. But I'll tell you what, that's perfect right there. What this is, is an old intake cover from the mine fans that help move air in and out of the mines. These things are stainless steel, they last forever. This is actually metal, the inside stainless steel. That's why people, they get them and they use them for burn barrels. Plus it's got plenty of air on these vent holes here. But I think that's gonna help it out. Get everything moving in the right direction, but we are gonna move some leaves now. Well, we finally moseyed outside. We are skipping naps today and putting the kids to bed at eight o'clock tonight. We've been trying to make that a thing, but unfortunately, well, no, fortunately, I wanna keep Sissy as a, my little baby as long as I can. She still has to crash sometimes. And when she does that, it pushes her bedtime 9, 9.30, sometimes 10 o'clock. So today we're just going to try to 
huff it out, let them stay awake and put them to bed at eight. And me and Sean are gonna sit down. Usually what happens when we do that, he'll go edit a video. I'll go look at shirts and prints and uh, answer emails. But tonight we are caught up. Everything is on schedule. But tonight we're gonna sit down and chill and watch a documentary, a little bit of mom and dad time. They are cleaning out the burn barrel. It desperately needed it so bad so bad and move that up to where we're putting some leaves for mulch but this beast oh, we, i think we're gonna wait till spring and try to finish the tree itself up we'll slowly put this stuff in the burn barrel little by little let that burn down this i think we're gonna wait till spring and maybe look at the amount of leaves you guys so i know some people are like i can't believe you guys rake your leaves and burn them and i don't know how everybody else does it but that's very common where we live that you do that now we don't bother any of the leaves back on the forest bed those stay those stay on the forest bed leave that for the nutrients for the trees come spring and everything but in our yard here i mean I know we've showed you guys before in the winter time, we get all the runoff from every side. We get the runoff from that side, from the back side, from this side, the water all comes here. If we don't get these leaves up, it is so wet and squishy. You just can't stand it. It's so much water with so much leaves on top, it just kills the grass. It's different for everybody's yard. Me and Sissy sitting here. Would you quit chewing on that? Chilling while the guys are all back there working. Colton is back there inspecting, as you can tell, doing what he does best, bossing. Are you helping? Y'all, this weather is crazy. It feels like like 80 degrees. It is hot out here. Like I'm I'm sweating a little bit. Here. <laughs> barefoot little hillbilly at heart you don't like shoes do you bud we had some on but they were that <laughs> them now. good cheetos or we're wild and free that's mm -hmm. what we call it what's this little springy girl she loves this trampoline jump sissy jump out moo moo she's like wait i lost my chippy so let me ask you a question what you was talking about a compost pile you think that pile of leaves right up there is big enough yeah because it's just gonna be some tomato buckets i'm just, i mean i'm a new gonna be growing vegetables and well no fruits but veggies for the first time so yeah it's I'm just gonna be tomato food. buckets cucumbers maybe some bell peppers everybody Listen, says bell peppers does really good maybe some potatoes after the strawberries i've bought all year i'm growing strawberries next year well too. you can try but i mean we failed miserably well the frost hit them is what it was we had a late frost come up out of nowhere this okay. spring and the strawberries that i planted the frost wiped them out but that's all right, I still got some blueberry bushes. There's a chance that those strawberries will actually come up this coming spring, so. But I'm gonna buy a bunch more and plant strawberries because my kids love strawberries. And if I can give them fresh out of the ground berries, hey, that's a win if you ask me. Why do you burn the leaves? Why not leave them there so it fertilizes the soil? If you notice, there's a line right here. 
I take so far down that way if there's any forest fire or anything when it comes to the house Hi. it stops and there's no chance of the house you know any fire coming down on the house. Got the big compost pile there. I'm gonna dump those ashes that we shoveled out of that burn burrow. I'm gonna dump them in there and mix those in and then as we have like some vegetable scraps or fruit scraps and stuff like that I'm gonna bring them up here and mix them in with it. That way, come spring, we have some nice soil and just keep it going. Like when I was growing up, my grandparents always had a compost pile and it, I forgot, like, and it seems weird that we don't have one because those, those vegetable scraps actually turn into good fertilizer. Actually, some of the best you can get, all organic too, made by God himself. Well, I ain't complaining one bit. All looking good, got these piled up right here by the side that way the day the wind ain't blowing and it's rained a little i'm finished blowing them over into the creek set them on fire they'll be done and then i'll that same day i'll blow all of them down into the creek and we'll be done with it we'll have a fire ring around our house and we won't have nothing to worry about but i need food we didn't put nothing out so we're gonna get some paradise pizza oh you can't figure this one out can you bud yeah, your mama knew you couldn't figure this one out. Well, I know. Mama got us a new gate. We had to tie the other one shut because Bubba was always figuring it out. Can't figure this one out, can you? Uh -huh. What's this, Dad? I show you. See, I got through. Can you do it. There's gotcha. Tell Mamma, blame it on Mamma. Y'all, I think it's safe to say I'm wore out. Little Mama's wore out, Jeremiah's wore out, and I know them babies are wore out because they ain't had a nap all day. <laughs> hey, can I ask you questions? Are you tired? No. Oh, are you sleepy? <laughs> yeah, I know better, you ain't had a nap no. today. Me little Megan. Are you almost ready for a nap soon? Here, bud. You drink. I know oh, I know that's gonna get spilled on me. Woo, yeah. you is thirsty. Oh, oh, you thirsty? You want to drink more? You want to drink? Okay. That was a lot of leaves in the yard. That's good drink. And we ain't even got a portion of them. We just got the backyard. Yeah. Got it ready to burn, like I said. Then now I gotta do You're this. Thirsty. The day I'm burning, what are you doing up there? Russell. Russell. Get you some more. Did you say Russell? Did you say Russell, Russell? <gasps> So, I bought baskets to put in the toy box. I mean, Lord, listen to me, mom brain. I bought baskets to put their toys in. They turned into them flipping them upside down and jumping on them until they fell apart. So, I only paid, what we pay for this? $37, 37 bucks, y'all, on Amazon. And so far, so good. It, I don't think, is that real wood? It's not, is it? No, no. Yeah, it's not real wood. It does look like wood, but it's Oh, not. God, you about jumped. But it'll do the trick. They, this is, it's heavy, especially with toys in it, so they won't be able to drag that one, and uh, they definitely, hopefully, won't be able to jump through it. <laughs> she wants a drink. <laughs> do you have to be so demanding about it? Watch it, watch it. Watch what they want. They're wanting yeah. to flip. All right. Who's next? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> the mama, mama. What do you want? She wants a drink. A drink? Okay. You want a what? Drink. A drink? Okay. Okay. You thirsty? Are you sleepy? Look at her hair. What's the matter with your hair? Is it a mess? Psst. Psst. Are you? Psst. Psst. Are you sleepy? No. I think you are. No. Yes. Look no. At, yes. Look at your eyes. Yeah, they're sleepy. Um, mama. Yeah. You're sleepy. Is it? Yeah. Is it? You gonna tell them bye? Bye. Say I love you. I love you. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoy this video. Hey, if you didn't see the one from before, go check it out, because this is actually the second one in the row. I'll be getting in the hang of it. I don't know. We're going to Little Shepherd's Trail tomorrow bye. over to Kingdom Come State Park. Have a cook or a... Picnic. Cookout, picnic, we something, I don't out. know. I, with the kids, too much. We'll just picnic. <laughs> It'd be a lot easier. We can, if we don't want to stay in that area where the grill's at, we can just go. All right. 
go to work. It don't matter to me, cook out, picnic. As long as food's involved, I'm happy. Well, there'll be food. But Alright guys, until the next time, stay positive. Stay country. And stay true to your roots.